Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ along with the other two American indexes or the larger ones being the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 have, has been smashed in recent days and this is on off the back of the hotter than expected inflationary core CPI and CPI figures that came in the other day. These figures all came in above expected with CPI coming in at 0.2% higher than the, um, the, the previous um, recording and 0.1% higher than expected. And the core inflation figures, which include energy coming in um, much higher than expected. What this has done is caused a lot of the, um, the market to expect or to start pricing in a bit the potential for a 100, point base, uh, 100 basis point hike next week by the Fed. Um, and that would, you know, that would be quite a large percentage increase. And this has led to a drop in the equities market, largely because of um, that, ex you know, expected increase in borrowing. So what we can see is, as we have a look to the charts, obviously we've had this, you know, big downturn and we had this uplift. And then the news that came in this week has caused a big sell-off in the, on the NASDAQ. And with one day to go of trading, we can see that so far we're in this bearish engulfing candle, which is obviously a really um, negative sign for any potential progress. So if we are looking, you know, at a potential short here, we would be looking um, for that level at about 11,000. Um, the other thing is that we are looking to potentially touch this 200-week uh, average at also about 11,000. So that adds that extra level of support. Obviously, again, very bearish signal here, unable to break back above. Um, so we may see um, you know, a further move down before potentially finding some support here and then maybe a bounce back up. So there's that first option. And as we have a look at the daily chart and we have a, we'll just reset that chart to get a better look. And similarly, we can see that, look, we weren't able to, um, break through this 50 day moving average. We've fallen back below. Um, and again, it looks like we might be starting a bit of another downtrend, um, potentially again, to test out that level there. If we have a look at the RSI, we can also see that we weren't able to break above um, and we might come back and test these lows at 30. So that may be another signal that, the, that we're about to either drop or extend lower. A couple of things to consider is that, you know, there's obviously lots of economic data still to come. And once the market does price in uh, these changes, if the Fed does then decide to not uh, add 100%, uh, 100 percent, 100 point, 100 basis point increase and do a 75, we may see a, a, a move back up um, in response to that and a more bullish signal. The other interesting thing is to compare this to the dollar index. Because of course, during times of inflation, um, during times of inflation and volatility, the dollar sees a lot of money coming in. So one thing that we can see is that the dollar has just kept rising, rising, rising. Um, and even though it, it, it's kind of gone in reverse in recent times of the NASDAQ, so if we start to see a potential top of the, the US dollar, we may see um, a move back so there you go guys um thanks for your thanks for your time and good luck trading